Minerals are important to keep in tap water for two reasons, uh, both of them health-related. The first is calcium and magnesium, and those, these are the primary healthy minerals that we talk about in tap water. Calcium is good uh, for the skeletal uh, structure of the human body, uh, our bones and our teeth, and magnesium has been shown to be a healthy mineral for the cardiovascular system. Uh, neither of those two minerals occur in sufficient form in the typical American diet, so retaining them wherever they are found naturally uh, is always uh, considered to be a beneficial thing. Uh, the second reason for the retention of those minerals is they are the primary TDS, or total dissolved solid, found in most tap water. Uh, the importance of retaining the TDS, as we discussed earlier, and when we were talking about reverse osmosis and distillation is that without TDS or total dissolved solids, water becomes very acidic. It is important to maintain an alkaline uh, nature to drinking water, uh, primarily because the human body uh, maintains a slightly alkaline pH in our bodily fluids. A healthy human uh, being has a pH of their bodily fluids in the range of 7.3 to 7.4, 7.0 being pH neutral. Anything above 7.0 is considered alkaline. Anything below 7.0 is considered acidic. The medical community, which agrees on very little, uh, does appear to agree that one of the reasons the human body maintains a slightly alkaline pH is part and parcel of our immune system things we don't like to think about like uh, tumors and various cancers and internal maladies of that sort appear to thrive in an acidic environment and do very poorly in an alkaline environment. So the body appears to maintain this slightly alkaline pH to our bodily fluids as a part and parcel of its immune system. Inundating a human body with excessive amounts of acidic foods or liquids causes the bodily fluids to start to lower in pH. When the body senses that, uh, it will take every mean it can to prevent that from occurring. Primarily in the human body, that is the leaching of calcium from our teeth and bones, which is not a desirable situation uh, for folks uh, looking to avoid osteoarthritis and things of that nature. It most certainly would be one of the last things we'd want to do with children where we're trying to build calcium uh, and magnesium in their bodies. We wouldn't want anything that would detract from that. So a, a very important reason for the retention of those minerals is to keep the water at an alkaline state and not allow it to be acidic. Uh, reverse osmosis uh, and, uh, uh, and distillation both uh, by removing those minerals produce acidic water. Interesting th uh, phenomenon about acidic versus alkaline water is that for the most part, and there are obviously exceptions, but for the most part, water found naturally, fresh water found naturally on this planet is all alkaline. There is no naturally occurring acidic water found on planet Earth with the exception of very rare uh, locations. And the primary reason for that is uh, plants and animals need alkaline water. They do not survive on acidic water.